fancy. Is it going to move? Yes, ah, fancy. That's... At least it was moving a second ago. Did we freeze? <clears throat> there we go. A little ring shimmer, a little electricity. <laughs> We're fancy. Yeah. Now it's London. Yeah, although when I, when I drove by Big Ben, it, it, it was covered by uh, scaffolding. <laughs> it's okay. I can, uh, I'll project that image onto it. Uh, first off, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Really, really enjoyed it. It was, it was so much fun. And it, it embraces the, the game in such a great way. But one of the great things I loved about it was that it embraces not just the game itself, but the, the kind of feeling you get when you play the game for the first time, particularly for, for kids. Was that something that was important to you when you were making it, that you did kind of both things in conjunction with each other? Oh, absolutely. And in fact, that's very uh, perfectly said. I mean, the, the interpreting Sonic for the movie, the experience of Sonic and who Sonic is as a character, I mean, that, that was absolutely the most important aspect. And uh, just that fun, that, that energy, that youthful spirit. I mean, I think those are all the things that make Sonic such a memorable character and, and so relatable. Um, that, that that just felt like the, the right ingredients for the movie. And it's, it's such a colorful game. I remember playing it when I was a kid and the first, you know, the, the Green Hill Zone, the first zone is like greens and blues and all this amazing stuff. And you replicate that so well. Do you think you would have been able to make the film this way sort of 10, 15 years ago? Because technology is caught up in such a way that you're able to do so much more now. It would definitely would have been an interesting challenge. I mean, it, it's always nice uh, to take advantage of the latest, greatest technology and really push it and really, I mean, we had such a great time uh, creating the Green Hill Zone, uh, uh, Sonic's Island and, and, and just rendering that in, in such a lush sort of cinematic way and just just as a reward for, for fans coming out and, and, and just uh, uh, just seeing it in a way that they never have before and, and just, a, uh, just a really cinematic way. Yeah, I'm sure people have already asked you about the, the redesign, but I was just wondering whether for you as a director, what I kind of taught you about just the the fan expectation or the fact that people were so kind of precious about Sonic. Not so much it, it was it was a bad design or everything, but just that you must have known we must might be onto something because people seem to care a lot about what we're doing. Oh, I knew people cared. I mean, and that's really the best case scenario. I mean, even though with the, that initial uh, reaction to the first trailer and the first design, uh, having a fan base that's that passionate and and, and that enthusiastic and, and cares that 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 deeply. I mean, that that's. I mean that's a, a, a blessing. I mean, really, like if you can if you can get all the fans on your side, I mean, you just have have marshaled uh, a, a great force uh, for for the movie. So I mean, that was such an amazing experience to to experience the support um, of that second trailer and for them to see the new design and just embrace it and love it as much as they did. Yeah, and I guess you have the luxury of doing that because uh, I was thinking about you know when people like see the, a new bat suit or a new Superman suit or something, it's hard they can't really change it. It's it's part of the part of what their decision making is. But for you, you're able to go back and and kind of do it. What was kind of the key thing for you when you went back? Was there something that you thought maybe the colors different or the facial things, or did you just was it just like kind of nips and tucks here and there? Sure, yeah, lots of little things. I mean, just changing a lot of uh, uh, making smaller adjustments. I mean, certainly just the most important thing was just when you look at Sonic I and mean, when you look at this and his eyes like. Do you, do you get that 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 read and, and the, do the fans get that immediate sort of uh, that spark of, of oh my gosh this is Sonic and, and, and it's great yeah I love some of the some of the kind of in jokes of him watching uh, getting excited by watching Speed mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things I was going to ask you about was the Naked Gun I mean did that come into it because it, it has the feel of not so much a Naked Gun silliness but maybe the kind of embracing of these characters and having having fun with it that the Naked Gun kind of kind of does so well. Uh, and it didn't hurt that it was a Paramount film and it was yeah. it was free to use. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I will also say there's a much deeper meaning which I'll allow each uh, audience member to explore. Uh, no, it's I, I love Naked Gun um, and uh, it just felt like a fun a fun thing to put on the television. Yeah, Fast and Furious must have been quite expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I know a guy uh, who produced all, all those movies and happened to produce uh, Sonic oh, the Hedgehog, Neil Moritz. Yeah, so. But I think that would have been a little too on the nose. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for yeah. him, so. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your cast. Uh, what made you settle on, on Ben and James? And also, I mean, you come with, with Jim Carrey. And it's a Jim Carrey that we haven't seen for a long time, for, for whatever reasons. But it's, it must have been great to see him back, you know, 10, 15 years ago when he was this kind of avuncular, such a, such a charismatic, uh, comedic it must have been great to have all three of those guys bringing it to life. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it just as a, a first-time director to have a cast like that, I might just feel like I hit the jackpot. I mean, it was lightning in a bottle. I mean, I still can't believe looking at the poster that, that Jim Carrey's in this movie. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. I mean, every, everyone just brought so much of their talents and, and, and sensibilities to their roles. And, and yeah, it's, it's just impossible to imagine anyone else playing any of them. I mean, Ben Schwartz, uh, I mean, that was almost destiny-like because he was at the studio I was working at, um, 
Blur in, in meeting with Tim Miller, who was director of Deadpool and, and is uh, a producer on Sonic. Um, he was there meeting with Tim. My desk is next to, to Tim's. And, and Ben sees all this Sonic stuff, and he's like, hey, what's all the Sonic stuff? And I was like, oh, we're developing a movie. And, and, and it turns out Ben's a huge Sonic fan. And so it's like we even hadn't even started to, to wrap our heads around who would voice Sonic, and here's Ben Schwartz. And it's just like, oh my gosh, this has just been gifted to us from, uh, from a greater power. So, and yeah, I mean, and he's just absolutely perfect as Sonic. Yeah, and just finally, I mean, there's not to give anything away, there's a few nuggets here and there of, of different things of, of the games and where you might go and everything else. But was it important for you to treat this as as, a, as one movie? I know everyone, every studios want franchises and all this kind of stuff. Important for you to just focus and say, right, we're going to do this. And if we get to do another one, we'll worry about that when we when we kind of come back to it. Absolutely. I mean, you just can't get ahead of yourself. You just We were treating this like... Uh, this is Sonic's it's his introductory movie. We've just got to we just got to nail him. He's got to be perfect, and Robotnik's got to be great. And there's no reason to uh, sort of. I mean, there's plenty of other characters, uh, obviously, in the Sonic the Sonic world that, that we'd love to work with. But for the purposes of this film, it's we gotta we gotta get these characters right and, and make it really great. Yeah. Well, I loved it. I thought it was great fun. That's great, man. I appreciate it. So really appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers. Nice meeting you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!